hello guys this is current affairs plus channel where we bring to you the latest news in politics sports and entertainment we say thank you for stopping by before i proceed with today's news if this is the first time you are watching any of our videos on our channel there is a red subscription button below this video just go ahead and hit on that red subscribe button so that we you stay up to date with all our latest news and updates the headline reads 68 independence this is not the nigeria awo sadwana zik envisioned edda statement laments the news in details as nigeria marks 60 years of independence from britain as a sovereign country elder statesmen, including chief ayu adabanjo professor banji akintoye among others and chief olabode george have expressed disappointment about the current state of the nation declaring that the country has failed to achieve the dream of its founding fathers despite the abundant resources available to it guys you know in a few days time nigeria we have their independent anniversary the other statement are lamenting and complaining and goes further the other statement who spoke separately to tribune online noted the cacophony of agitations in the country charging president Mohamed buhali to take immediate step to restructure the country to avert a breakup chief adeban just said the country this diamond jubilee is worth a breath and only because god has kept it as one but not worth it as it has not attained the dream of founding fathers he lamented that nigeria has been unfortunate to have unprincipled leaders since independent particularly after the military took over in 1966 according to him the country has not been able to get its way through attributing the fundamental problems to change of the constitution by the military to unitary form of government he declared that unless nigeria returned to the federalism with the federating unit becoming autonomous which was the agreement by the founding fathers progress would be impossible under a one-man rule imposed by the military regime Adebanjo and Afeni Fele Chief Ten were maintaining that the country has witnessed the country has not witnessed rapid development since the military incursion into governance further lamented that the country is now more divided than it was at independent in his own view akinto who also admitted nigeria was making much progress under his founding fathers including chief obafemi awolowo the late sadona of sokoto sir ahmad bello and dr nandi azikiwe said the country said the country trembled on a dangerous terrain and fumbled because the people who were in control of power in the federal government developed an unhealthy desire to control the regions according to the foremost historian their first attack was launched against the western region by manipulating by manipulation and so on by what i can call covert operation the god leaders of the western region broke up the leadership of the western region and the federal government then moved in quickly to declare a state of emergency suspended the regional government and appointed a sole administrator to oversee its affairs and essentially shut down the development of western region that went on and on a section of the leadership of the western region become allies of people in the federal government and rigged election in the western region in order to uphold them in power and we the younger people of the western region refused to accept because the election was so brutally rigged and so that resulted in a coup in 19 in january 1966 that is where we really began the plume down the slope akintoya who leads the yoruba world congress which a few months ago secured the yoruba nations membership of the unrepresented unrepresented nations and people's organization unpo said the military also came into power without any preparation for governing 
adding that they were disrespectful of Nigerians as they were trained as they were trained by the British to defend the British interests in Nigeria against the Nigerians. That was what the military was trained for originally, and so it was common among them to refer to our politicians as bloody civilians, and they have no skill to govern. So the result is that the result is that type of government just became a silly, sally, corrupt establishment to which every soldier boy that came to power was trying to get money for himself, and Nigeria became began to go down and down. He said. George, in his remark, also agreed that Nigeria as a country is currently in a state of flux and on a platform that is wobbling. He said the only way to address the problem is to allow justice and fairness to prevail, contending that the absence of such has been responsible for the cacophony of voices and agitations in the land by the separatists. We are in a state of flux. We are on a platform that is wobbling. Why should we be like that? Let justice flow like a river. Let there be fairness in the land. The cacophony of voices, people who want this state and that republic, that is what is causing the agitation because we want fairness under the law. Like they say in my part of the world, no assembly of people that is a slave to an Egyptian man. Gathering resources together can be interesting if some lack, which means equality of the system. He said, I believe that Oga Buhari has a duty, having served in the military. He has a duty, having fought in the civil war. He has a duty to revisit this style of, gov of management we have now. We have this opportunity now from 2020 to 2023. If we go into the devolution of power, restructuring the country for the benefit of every Nigerian, that is the task he must embark upon. And get done before he leaves office, he admonished. A former advisor on National Assembly matters to a former president, the late Shehushagali Alhaji Tanko Yakasai, lamented that the country has not achieved much in the area of social economic development and its infrastructure. He said every citizen could see the numerous problems like kidnapping, insecurity, poverty, unemployment, and other vices to observe that the country is not doing well. He said the country could have achieved more if there, if there are a development agenda implemented by successive governments over the years. al Haji Yakasai, who spoke to Tribune Online in Kano on Saturday, added, however, that in area of development, the country has at least achieved something, comparing what is on the ground with what the nation had in the past. Before independence, the country has only one university, which was the premier university known as the University of Ibadan. Even at that time, it was not a full-fledged university. But as I said earlier, the current government has tried. What I see as the clog in the wheel of progress of the country is lack of developmental agenda, he said. Secretary General of the pan yoruba Social Political Group, Afani Fele Chief Seyinde Arobofa, on Saturday said his desire for Nigeria had yet to be fulfilled 60 years after independence. Arobofa said the country has failed to give room for an environment where there is equity and respect for right and dignity of all citizens. We are yet to have a country where the governed are good followers and leaders think first, think about the people and not the other way round, he said. According to the Octogerian, the desire for a better country where every citizen will feel the impact of governance is still missing at 60, while the dreams and hopes of many Nigerians have been dashed. He noted that the problem confronting the country we continue to leave Nigerians until the leaders embrace a federal system of government as agreed by leaders at independence. All is not well with our country and this is as a result of poor leadership which has also been producing poor fellowship believing that we shall find solution to the problems. Part of the solution is bringing back that form of government that our founding fathers, Chief Obafemi Awolowo, Nanda Zikiwe, and Alaj Ahmad Bello, Saudana ran. And going back to that agreement they made before independence that we should have a system of federal government. Former Minister of State for Education and SY Director General of Natural Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, Professor Jerry Agada and Dr. Paul Ohi, respectively, 
have lamented the non-fulfillment of the expectations of Nigeria at independence. Agada lamented that the country is yet to attend the desired dream, but submitted that there is still room for improvement, blaming corruption and ineptitude as factors responsible for the norm development recorded in some sectors. For instance, the Nigerian Railway, which we ought to have improved on, was left in comatose, only to now receive attention. The dispensaries, which ought to have been advanced to cottage hospital, were abandoned. Though we have improved in some areas like education, because at independent we had few universities but now have many universities. Agada advised the country leadership to channel the resources of the country into meaningful areas of development. In his own submission, the former of Dark Bowes, that's all he said, while the nation has remained undeveloped in some areas, the country has made little progress in few others. Nigeria is not the same way it was when I was born. In those days, we had a functional railway and Nigerian Airways, but now Nigeria Airways has gone, and we are struggling to bring back the rail lines. While we have taken these big steps in those areas, we have also moved forward in the education sector because we now have so many universities. That way, however, advised that the country should diversify from oil to agriculture as one of the areas that can help the nation to be self reliant. Spokesperson for the Fanny Fale Epan Yoruba Social Cultural Body, Mr. Inka Odumaki, in his own view, observed that the early founders of the country did not have a common ideal that guided their call for independence. Our founding fathers never had an envisioned country. Each of them had his own, has his own idea of what they wanted. There was not a country. Our wanted a federal Nigeria where every section would be at liberty to run its affairs and there will be healthy competition. Tafa, Blawa and Co. wanted to dominate, so there was no common ideal which they were all striving towards to, he said. Godumaki said the state of foundational discordance led to the civil war which erupted after so many crises in 1967, just about seven years after independence. He noted that since then, Nigeria has never really been out of war because that civil war never really ended. We have been at war since after, the, after that war because that war never ended. Like Freddy Luger said, we behave more like empty, we behave more like enemy tribes, he said. Odumaki expressed surprise that some of the actions of the Buhari led the federal government in recent time are some of the evidence of his assertion. I'm so surprised that at the 60th anniversary of Nigeria independent, Buhari is now building a rail line to Niger Republic when there is no rail between Calabar and Lagos. His government is more concerned about creating waterways for Hesmen, and they are saying that they want to give visa to Hesmen upon arrival in Nigeria. Clearly, we do not have a common Nigeria that we are striving towards. That is why today you see the kind of treatment Hesmen are being given. Go to Abuja today, you will see cows rolling on our runway in an international airport, he said. Urumaki, who founded the foundation of Nigeria independence, noted that the way the country is currently configured needs to be changed because Nigeria is undergoing a clash of civilization whose root is traceable to the reaction that greeted this call for independence in 1957. It is a clash of civilization. We have been battling with which explains when the motion for independence was moved in 1957. The defunct Northern People's Congress, NPC, opposed that motion and they walked out of the parliament. When the defunct action group went to Kano, led by Ladoke Akintola, to explain independence to the people, it was met with a riot. There was Kano riot where people were killed in large number on the quest that we were craving for independence. Whatever Nigeria is going through today, the seed we are sown in those pre-independence years because it was a forced marriage and up till now we have no charter of union to show that we want to engage ourselves to live as brothers and sisters, he said. Odumaki noted that for Nigeria to be a nation and better place for every ethnic nationality in the country, certain steps must be taken by conscious effort. If we reconstruct Nigeria, we can make it work if we want to. If we rise above our division to strive and build a nation that works, it will be. Nigeria is not a nation at the moment and we have not made conscious effort to build a nation out of Nigeria, he said. 
The Anambrasit president of the Igbo Social Cultural Organization, Ohanez Ndi Igbo Chief Damien Ogene Okeke, resetted the call for the country restructuring, saying it remains the only solution to the country's economic challenges. Ogene Okeke, in an interview in Oka, said on Saturday, lamented that close to 60 years now, the country has had to deal with issues of insecurity, especially in the Northeast, unemployment, corruption, and other vices. He counseled that there was no need to celebrate as things are getting worse with no evidence of improvement in all areas of the country. How do you expect the voiceless and helpless Nigerians to celebrate when good food is lacking on their table, when there is tribal sentiments among citizens, when there is no longer functional anti-corruption agency in the country, when there is no solution to the continuous killing of Nigerians by Boko Haram and bandits in the northern Nigeria? So what the country needs now is structuring because it was attract it will attract development, job creation, and competition among regions in a 40 country like Nigeria, he said. Also speaking, a legal luminary, Shola Ebisheni, attributed the failure experienced by the country to the lack of leadership, saying hope of the common Nigerians never came to fruition. Another former Minister of State for Education, Chief Kenneth Bagi, urged Nigerians to get involved in every single and important matter that has to do with their lives. The business mogul who spoke to Tribune Online at his country home of Oginibo, Ugeli South Delta State, enjoined Nigerians to embrace politics as it is done elsewhere. He warned Nigerians to understand the fact that whether they like it or not, once they have elected a leader, they have practically ceded their lives power and everything to such a politician.